in peace. On um, tonight is gonna be a really chill stream. Oh my god, my boy. Because my internet's not working that well. I've been trying to pull up all my tabs this morning for like the last 20 minutes, and it's not. It's not happening. So I'm getting cock blocked by the internet today. But I'm still here hanging out. We've got. You know, we only have six more days of hot tub streams left. It's, it's really gone by so fast. It's really gone by really fast. How are you guys doing this morning? I'm just going to keep calling it morning because it's morning for me. <laughs> I didn't make it to my workout yesterday. I ended up falling asleep. And I woke up. Oh, this is the worst part. You know, I don't mind oversleeping things. But when I oversleep for like something like little, it drives me crazy. Like... I woke up, like, the class is at 5.15, it's 10 minutes away, and I woke up at 5.05, .05, and I was like, you, you know what I'm saying? Like, I just, just woke up in time to disappoint myself, so to feel like I could make it, but I can't make it. So. Mm. Today, we're supposed to be doing some, like, body sculpting thing. Some, um, some body sculptor guy hit up um, Piper to see if her and her friends want to um, try out his new business. Like he just started doing body sculpting, but honestly, it seems kind of weird. It's like wood therapy and ionic foot detox stuff. I'm just like, I'm not sure how I feel about it. I'm not sure if I believe in it, but I'm for 20 bucks, I'm down to try. So I'll let you guys know how it goes. Hi, hey, Elvis. How are you, baby? got pulled up thankfully I go to game suggestions I still think we have eight yeah we literally only have eight one two three four five six actually where did number eight come from because it's definitely six clearly I did not I didn't learn how to count um randomizer list randomizer We're using random.org. So our game suggestions were chess, which I would be horrible at. Um, Stardew Valley, which honestly seems more up my alley, but we'll see what the what the universe decides. Pico Park. Welcome to the game. Two. I keep putting one, it's two. And out of sweet out of space. And Mech Warrior Online. Alright. So 
I'm gonna, it's gonna be like the, the unprofessional way to do this. And you can't read that, can you? Well, just know that I'm, I'm holding this there so it's accountable. All right, so we'll go to randomize. Oh wait, I think it's gonna randomly, okay. That's not what I wanted. So now that I have the list again, let's go put it into a, what's it called, a raffle thing? I guess randomizer is the wrong word. That's not what I was looking for. Um, make a random selection. That'll, that'll do the thing for me. Random choice generator, that's what I was looking for. Yes, finally, yes. As soon as I clicked it, it was, it told me. So we're doing Pico Park. I have no idea what that is. I don't know if you guys can see it. It says it right there. So we're going to be doing that um, in February. Let me go ahead and put that, and delete this channel, edit channel, delete channel. It's been deleted. Not the whole thing, just that part. And I'll put an announcement. I should have looked who said it first, I forgot. Mm -mm. 
Hi, Keltos. Mentally been weird the last couple of days and your energy is all over the place. Got a lot of really deep soul searching to do. Ah, oh, man, I hate those days. I hate when, like, you're just feeling off. But then it's like, I think it's good that it's like your body reminding you that you have to take some time to, like, do the things that we think are so trivial and so, like, um, unproductive. When really they are productive. They bring peace to our minds. They help us relax, de-stress, um, function better in the world. So I definitely understand that. Totally understand that. Swimsuits are getting complex these days. I know. I know. Dude, I have to tie this like a million. I will take a picture of my bikini when I'm not wearing it and, and it's not tied up to show you guys like what it looks like when it's like all apart. Like, it, it was confusing. I was like, did I get a broken bikini? Like, what is going on? Hi, 420zer. Mm. So the kitty outfit is in today. All right, my phone bubble. Come on. spins because my internet is like I don't know today it is not it 
is not it. So I'm doing double spins tomorrow. Assuming my internet gets in line, gets on the same program. Because right now I'm, I, I can't see chat anymore. It's telling me I'm connected to the internet, but then I'm not connected to the internet. And it's like this whole thing. So I don't know why. But double spins tomorrow. So I got one for you, Rome, or two for you tomorrow, and two for Wes, and two for... What does it mean you can't be a cannibal? You, you don't have to cook people. Yeah, I mean, I don't, I don't have to cook them, but it didn't smell appetizing. That's what I'm telling you. Like, it smelled gross. I smelled it and I was like, never. Never would I put this in my mouth. What do you mean? You haven't had lunch, Deg? We need to eat. Is it important to eat? How are you gonna fuel your brain and your body and therefore your bills? Double spin, double the fun, double mint gum. Yes, Bluebird. I'm butt hurt. We can't do spins today. I hate it when my my plots and plans get foiled by real world experiences. First world problems. I mean, I agree. I agree. Oh no, my internet won't. My internet won't work enough for me to do the spin well. It's the end of the world. Actually, we're having an interesting conversation. I was having an interesting conversation with my, um, was he's a nuclear radiologist, right? And, uh, we were talking about, like, energy. I remember, I forgot how we started talking about oil. Bye, Rome. Have a great run. We love you dearly and look forward to seeing you later. Um, Oh, we were talking about like energies and, and stuff like that and how the world is really dependent on oil and how the world's going to change when we run out of oils. And we were talking about like different renewable sources, but then, you know, also about like greenwashing and how like, you know, a lot of these renewable resources um, need support from non-renewable resources, you know, like uh, solar panels are made out of oil, which are therefore, you know, require a fossil fuel uh, to support it. And then you have, um, I don't know what windmills, but for sure, uh, like nuclear power plants. Cause I was thinking, okay, maybe I could pick his brain. He's a nuclear radiologist. Maybe we'll know some, more some fun, like nuclear stuff. And he was like, no. Turns out like nuclear energy is very efficient, but unfortunately to power it, you have to use coal, coal to power the plants, which I'm like, wait, wait, couldn't you just like start using coal and then start using nuclear to like keep the future going but then uh, I got lost in the conversation go nuclear it's clean well see that's what I'm talking about like we can't because nuclear nuclear energy is supported by fossil fuels as well that's the other dilemma so basically we're talking and we're talking about how like the world is oil like all, you know plastics often made from oil like a lot of the things we own is made from oil and we just don't realize it and how um, the world is really going to be in peril when there's no more oil left because we use it for everything. Right, it's going to be tough today. It's by setting a new personal best yesterday. I mean, you can't set up a new personal record every single day, right? Not every day. You can't just act like every day's performance. Some days you're a training, my guy. Thanks, Zardak. How are you? What's wrong with fossil fuels? The Earth has more than we can use. Well, from what I understand, we've used so much, like, well, there's still oil in the world. It's just that we've reached all the, the easily accessible oil. You know, all the points of where, like, you can go and get oil and just stick a little thing in the ground and out it comes. Like, now we're having to frack for oil and dig for oil. You know what I'm saying? Having to do all this stuff. We're having to go out in the Gulf of Mexico and drill for oil. Because all the easy reserves is water gone. Just like, and we just, we, you know, we live in a world where it's constantly advancing and we just think that it's always going to be there. And, you know, you know, it's like, oh, one day it'll run out, not realizing that but one day is not too far away. 
Nuclear feeder plants might be the future. It uses the radioactive material produced in regular nuclear plants and other plants to further break it down. That's interesting. I met a guy yesterday that was telling me about how he's like doing some sort of like renewable oil thing. Like we were talking, uh, he was kind of being a douche at first when he started talking to me and I was like, why did you start this conversation if you're just gonna be an asshole, right? And then we started, we found some common ground and I started talking shit to him and he was like, okay, okay, you know, we, we bonded over that. It's weird how it happens, it's weird how it happens. But basically, he was, uh, his company collects oil from a whole bunch of different like restaurants and companies and like Chick-fil-A and I don't remember the other ones he was. I just remember Chick-fil-A was one of them. And, uh, you know, they are required to get rid of the oil, the fried oil, but you can just throw it away in trash can. It's like a certain way you dispose of grease and oil. So they created this company where they would go around and create deals collecting the oil from these people. And then what they were doing is they were taking these oils and then selling them to like bio, bio renewable energy companies. So basically they were making like uh, energy using literal like fried oils and stuff like that. And now the guy wants to go and create a facility himself and start doing it himself. Now that he's going to create all this energy, all this like. Um, revenue and the connections and blah, 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 blah. And he's like in the process of making like the second largest bio-renewable energy plant in America, supposedly. Hi, Yaku. How are you? Nuclear seems like the future. Seems like the only way to get enough power for everything. I'm feeling, I'm, I'm more optimistic to nuclear, but I mean... I'm also not an energy expert. I just like to have interesting conversations, okay? Yes. I, I, like to, I love it because I like start a conversation and you guys will further it for me and I'm like, yes, now we are, we are in the zone. You know what I'm saying? Thank you. Y'all really like this top. Y'all like the kitty top. Which is interesting because it's not, it's not colorful today. You guys really seem to like the colorful bikinis. Oh. oh my God, that was a giant fail. I cannot believe it. The discussion zone, yes. It's like the danger. It's the other D zone. Um, you work with someone who had a truck that ran on used cooking oil? I know someone who does too. It's super interesting. I don't remember how they did it though. Like, have to do like some sort of like conversion or whatever. You can't just pour, like, from what I understand, you can't just pour oil into a diesel truck. You have to do like some conversion thing. What is my area of expertise? Having a good time. Um, being really goofy, eating snacks, talking about things that are way above my head. Um, um, I'm a professional smoke show. That's like, th that's, that's all I got. That is my area of expertise. Where's yours, bruh? Are you new here? I feel like you're new here. Hi, Sorenstrom. How are you doing today? So nice to see you. Oh, happy Tuesday. Yes, happy Tuesday, happy Tuesday, happy Tuesday. I didn't even know it was Tuesday, but that makes sense, Tuesday. <laughs> oh, my days all blend together when I travel sometimes. You're, you're, that's funny, you're an expert in eating snacks too. Ooh, what snacks do you specialize in? I specialize in Korean snacks, um, flaming hot snacks. I was gonna say healthy snacks, but I don't have my apples today. You've been here before, you just lurk. Oh, I'm so glad we pulled you out of the lurking shadows and we dragged you into the chat today. Oh my god, my trash. Don't you get away from me, trash. We are not literary on the screen. Oh. <laughs> What do you guys got planned for this week? I'm pretty much um, working my night gig till today is the Tuesday, so I think my last day is Saturday. But I'm staying in Palm Springs for two weeks. I really want to go see up this tram we were talking about yesterday, where it's like there's like snow on top of the mountain, but we're like in the desert, so it's like hot and it's like sunny, so it feels good. But you're like also with snow. Feel like 
I won't be able to stream there because I won't be there long enough and I don't know what service is going to be like, but I'll try to do like an Instagram video if you guys want to check it out. Hi, Bella Cos. What are we XDing about? I feel like, I feel like we're in the times, times, olden times. Did I bring more water? I hope I did. I'm not thirsty fish today. Yeah, yeah, I did. What? Internet, come back to me. Hi. I have to read chat from here now. Greg, it's you. How are you, love? Everyone really likes this bikini today. Y'all really are into it. This is the one. This is the one. This kind of looks like a, 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 a Chinese character to me. You know what I'm talking about? Palm Springs is a perfect time. Of per Palm Springs is perfect this time of year. Oh, you go to Palm Springs too. What do you like to do when you're up here? I really love all the food. The food is so good. Oh, so much really good food. Although I'm kind of disappointed we went to this like place, a southern place, and they had like Cajun food, which is good, but then they had sweet tea and it was not. I mean, I know it's California, but I was expecting on a southern joint to at least be able to get sweet tea right and they could not. It was incredibly depressing. I felt like I was lied to. Connect to the internet. Why do you keep disconnecting from me? You're just waking up? Me too. like an hour ago that's what, I, that's what i've been doing lately is i don't know what time i'm going to be getting up so i've just been like waking up and then being like okay i'll be on stream in an hour that's pretty much what determines what time i'm on stream nowadays i'm just like first thing in the morning you're gonna golf hike smoke weed and usual oh do you have a dispensary that's your favorite oh there's a really cool dispensary here called the 420 bank it actually used to be a bank guys like a real bank and it's really cool, like they have, they still have like the vault set up, you know, where like people put the security deposit box and stuff. Like they still have that room open. They made it like an arcade room. It's got like pinball machines and lights and stuff, but it's like the real bank vault. And uh, it's a, it's really cool. It's a dispensary, a lounge, um, and also like a, a community center, like not like a young community center, but it's basically, um, they have like live music there. They have artists and different things performing there. They have a stage. And then um, it's really interesting. They have a glass pipe shop inside. They sell, like they have like this giant, like chess board, like a human sized chess board that you can play. Really nice lounge couches. And it was super cool. Like yesterday, you know, like if you buy like some like concentrate, you know, like some dab stuff, you can go up to this counter, right? And the guy will have a piece ready for you and he will literally like dab, dab you up for you. And they clean off the mouthpiece and the whole thing for you between like uses. It's like, oh my God. It was, I felt like a high end bitch. Yes. Is this a condo? Yes. Yes. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. I'm staying with my friend. So, um, and this works out best because I know this place has a hot tub for sure. We streamed here before. I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure we streamed here before. Just, last year. Yes, the 420 bank is worth, ah, it's so cool. And their prices are actually affordable, like compared to like some places I've been to, like they're not outrageous. They're very, what's the word, like acceptable. Oh, 
home, this is my home through time, right? And uh, was trying to find the AC and it was 80 degrees outside. And I was uh, inside my house and I was like, oh, oh, why is it like this? Where is the air conditioning? I'm not used to this. You saw a place like that in San Francisco one time called the Apoca uh, Apothecary. Ooh, what made it special? What's special about that brand? <coughs> Hi, Roma. <coughs> I'm currently <coughs> coughing on <coughs> this lit. It's not, it's not the Rona. Hanging on to a, a dollar <laughs> beach ball from Walmart. How are you? Is that brand new house? Is it your house? Are you renting it? Let's kind of, I want the details. I like, um, I really like, um, I forgot what I was going to say. Oh my God. Why? Why is my brain like this? Hi, MLSJ. How are you? Oh, that's what I was going to say. I really like home decor. I really love seeing people do like home decor. I'm not good at home decor, guys. I'm the worst. You know, like almost all these Airbnbs I go to have like really nice home decor. And I'm like, who taught you this? Where did you learn this skill? Like, how did you become this successful? I must know. I want to know. Good job, mods. Yes, good job, mods. They are amazing. I'm great this night. Doing a great job. Just because you woke up, your eggs are still scrambled. Yes, that's exactly what it is. Yeah, I know, it's not the Doug Maverick, that's what we called him, or Frederick. I forget his name. He has too many names. Yes, it's, um, uh, I didn't want to blow, like, deflate him and, like, blow him back up. So I just bought a bottle like, to, to blow up, you know? Hi, Dare Vaughn. Good evening. Well, it's evening there. It's evening here, too. Where are you from? I want to know. I like details. Hi, Lethal. Good morning. It's not morning. A lot of Airbnbs. I cannot speak. A lot of Airbnbs you go to do the bare minimum. Really? I know I went to one and it was like, it's a company that like bought like these homes and like they're like trying to brand themselves on Airbnb or whatever and, and they bought all their stuff from Goodwill and I know that because they still left the Goodwill stickers on everything. Everything. And I'm like, y'all, if you're gonna go in like bargain shop for your Airbnb, can you not make it very obvious? I don't know. I feel like just made me feel like I was in a dirty place. Like at first I thought it was a nice place and then I'm like, mm, hmm, hmm. Did they steam clean these couches? By the way, you refund any channel points used for good job mods just because I, oh, because I appreciate you too. Aw, Disney, you're a sweet man. Truly the sweetest. Earrings look good on me, thank you. I got these for my birthday from my family member. They're my first, my first set of gold earrings. Which is so nice because it's the first kind of earrings that don't bother my ears. Like, so my ear piercing story, my mom, you know, is from Korea, right? She grew up in Korea before, like, at least where she lived, like, you know, there wasn't, like, modern, like, utilities, you know, there wasn't electricity, there wasn't plumbing, there wasn't running water, there was, you know what I'm saying, mom really came for nothing, and, like, nothing, nothing, <laughs> and, um, so, when I was, I remember I was, I think I was in elementary school, yeah, because I was still at private school, I, all the girls had their ears pierced, and I wanted my ears pierced, right? And so my mom was like, yeah, we'll pierce your ears. And so she takes me to the bathroom and she picks out an earring and she just shoves it through my ear, you guys. And it was extremely painful. So painful that I was like, I don't want to pierce the other ear, mom. Can we do this tomorrow? Like, I, there's no way I can do this again. Like, you just, you just, you know what I'm saying? Like, that's not how you pierce an ear, guys. <laughs> that's not how you pierce anything. So, so anyways, I, I went through with the other one because, you know, I'm not going to, I'm already halfway there, right? Might as well continue on. So I got the other one the next day, but ever since, like, I think, like, the impact to my skin 
um, caused like caused it some sort of damage or sensitivities or some issues because now if I if I wear fake jewelry like um, it bothers my ears but if I wear fake jewelry and any of my other piercings it's not a problem like I've worn like not recommended like plastic jewelry in my tongue before I've worn like not not gold belly button rings and they don't give me problems but my ears my ears are the worst so I really love them steam clean the couches does anyone do that I would hope so. if you bought if you bought cloth furniture from Goodwill I would fucking hope you went and deep cleaned that thing you don't know whose home that was in you don't know why they gave it away maybe they're rich and they didn't need it anymore maybe they were just like maybe they like murdered somebody you know what I'm saying? Steam clean your couches. You can get good stuff at Goodwill. Like, yeah, I know. That's true. That's true. I mean, I'm not. I'm not knocking Goodwill. I'm just saying, like, the connotation is like, why did you bring this to the Goodwill? Why did you give this away if it was in perfectly good working order and it was a nice looking item? You know. What kind of streams are we going to do in February after the Hot Tub series? Um, February, I think we're going to orient towards fitness. So that's why we started the Squat-a-thon, um, which is where we're going to buy the DV method. And I'm going to do as many squats as I possibly can until I literally cannot. Until I literally fall off and not die. But you know what I'm saying. I want my, my, um, my thighs and my butt to literally just want to fall off. That is the goal. And then I'm going to let you guys like pick a number. You guys can pick one number um, in probably in Discord, you know, so I can keep up with it. Um, how many squats you guys think I will do? And whoever is closest, whoever picks the closest number will win some sort of prize. I don't know what the prize is. Um, but I'm going to keep it in Discord because I feel like we just put it in chat. Like we need like really hard to keep up with. Also, hi Kamo. I didn't fucking, I didn't even look at the name today. I'm not in my element. How are you, babe? I know we're uh, doing Spencer Founders badges, but unfortunately I can't get, well, maybe I can get the spin to work now. I'll try. Uh, we have some internet. We have some internet. But I'll still honor two of you. are like drugging their children with it's okay they're kid versions they're meant for children but you know <laughs> so funny hi kevin good morning thank you lethal you guys really like this one i don't know what it is about this one you guys like the, the paw it's just like rah. they're like i want to put my paws where paw prints are i know i know I like new furniture, not really into used furniture. I bought used furniture when I was in college. When I was in college and I was first starting out and stuff like that, all my furniture was used. All of it. Because I was poor. I was a poor college student. But we got some pretty cool furniture. There's a lot of people that get away a lot of cheap furniture where I lived because, or where I went to college because like there's a lot of like retired people like, like to like retire and move away and like you will hate that town for whatever reason when you grow up there they hate it and then they, they give away all their stuff and they come back three years later I have like surpassed that I feel really proud of myself I didn't move back to Florida one on San Diego you stayed one wait there's this one in San Diego that you stayed at one time that had a great home decor but a lot of the ones you stay in Miami Beach are the bare minimum well I think it's like but also I think it's like two different clientele. Like you could be out, like if you're, if you're renting an Airbnb in Miami Beach, there's like a 70 to 80% chance you're going out there to party. You know what I'm saying? You don't give a shit what it looks like. 
Whereas like in San Diego, San Diego, not, not, you, not that you can't party in San Diego, San Diego, not that there aren't parties in San Diego. But when you go to San Diego, it could be for a maraud of different things. Maybe you're there to hang out. Maybe you want to get away from your wife. Like maybe you want to like do office work. I don't, you know, so they make it more like foo-foo. So that it fits more of like your needs and makes it seem like a place where someone like you would want to go. Yes. Korean tiger moms be savage? What is that? What is a Korean tiger mom? Are, are tigers like illegally, are legally allowed to be owned in Korea or something? You got an interview in an hour? Oh, good luck, Kevin! Where are you going to be interviewing at if you want to share? No, Claire's is it for you? For me? Yeah, I know. Like, but honestly, Claire's is just the same thing. The only difference is Claire's uses a gun instead of the, the sheer force of a small woman, you know? But Claire's is almost as bad. Mm. The way you're supposed to do a piercing, guys, is supposed to like be like a hollow needle. So when it goes through your skin, it takes out a piece of the skin with it. That way you're not like forcing, you know what I'm saying? Like forcing skin to like be, you know what I'm saying? Pressing skin against each other that shouldn't be that way. You're just removing it. And that's what makes a clean heel. That's what makes it a good piercing. That's what makes, you know, there'd be no agitation because there's no trauma to the skin. You know what I'm saying? Like blunt trauma. It's a cut. It's a cut out. It's like a cookie cutter for your, your skin. A small, tiny cookie cutter. Your mom pierced her own ears when she was 11 or some such and the, old, the holes aren't level. <laughs> that's adorable. Yeah, when I put my ears, like, so when you do a piercing, right, like you're supposed to like clamp the area and make it like pull it tight and make it straight. So when it goes through, it goes just straight, you know, my mom wasn't doing that. My mom was just like, Phew. so, you know, when I have to put my earrings in, I kind of have to like fight with the hole because it's not a straight hole. It's kind of like a little pathway. You know what I'm saying? From one part of the ear to the other part of the ear. <laughs> do I still buy thrift court? Do I still buy thrift store clothes? Actually, yeah. I found this really, really cute, like vintage style um, dress from the UK actually recently, within the last two months at the thrift store um, in Arizona. And it is beautiful. It really like fits my body perfectly, but then it has like this nice like flow out. It's a really nice dress. I, I should have brought it. Um, I looked it up on the internet, dude. It's like a $200 dress that I got for $8. I know, but it's one of those things like, I'm not one of those people that knows like what are worth what's worth money in a thrift store, but I know quality. And when I saw that like in original design, the quality is like, mmm, this is money. Silver earrings are the best then. Silver is micro uh, antimicrobial and typically non-allergenic. Yeah, like sterling. I mean, like I don't know. I've I've had sterling silver silver earrings that doesn't work for my ears. So. Who gets furniture at Goodwill? Burn that stuff. I mean, there's good furniture there. It's just clean it. You know what I'm saying? You don't know. You don't know where that furniture's been. Like, what if, what if there are bed bugs or something crazy? I mean, I would think Goodwill would like look for that kind of stuff. I feel like honestly, being a Goodwill employee has to suck. Has to suck because you're constantly organizing things that don't have a category. I mean, people donate the randomest things. You have to like come up with a price for them, right? And like put them in categories. And on top of that, you could probably get some really weird, gross donations from time to time. Like the oil guy I was telling you guys about earlier, who gets like oil from like uh, all these restaurants, was telling me all the weird things they find when they filter the oil out. He's like, you'll find like chicken bones and fried stuff, but then you'll also find like, he's like, bro, we found a cell phone before. They found, uh, what was the other crazy thing? They found a cell phone in there and they found like, uh, there was something weird. I forgot what else they found in there, but that was the one that stuck out. I'm like, how do you lose cell phone in a fryer oil and just forget about it? Just leave it. Like, it's fine. We'll just continue to cook or fry in this anyways. Hi, Ike Spade. If you're still here, hello. Woo! I was felt. You have gold earrings. The silver bothers your ears. Yeah, see? Silver bothers my ears too. Ooh, I also love that you wear earrings. I love that. I love men who wear jewelry. Not like the flashy, gaudy jewelry. To me, I'm like, okay, not that it doesn't look nice, but I feel like a lot of people who wear flashy, gaudy jewelry as men are just trying to be like, look at me, I am a disco ball. And I'm like, I'm sorry, disco, like, 
died in the 70s. It was the 70s or the 80s. All I know is it, it died like 40 years ago. More than 40 years ago. So, I'm not into that. But like, a, you know, like a nice chain or some studs or like a, a nice watch or a bracelet. Like, I like that. I think it looks nice on a man. It's so fitting, you know? So it's like, if you guys don't know, like gold is usually for like tanner or more olive tones. So like for me, gold tones are the best tones to get me because they, they're more um, complementary to my tone. But people who are more fair, um, are more light skinned, look better in silver or white gold. Your thighs getting thick from these uphill runs. Oh yes, it's like you went on a treadmill and you like pushed the, the incline up to a thousand. That's what you're doing right now, and you are murdering it. Well, probably by the, I mean, I, I'm pretty late to chat. You know, I'm like scrolling around, so probably over the hill by now, so I apologize, but. <laughs> you know what I meant. You knew where our intentions were. You wouldn't look hot if your thighs fell off. I mean, you don't know that. What if I don't have thighs right now? I, I mean, how would you know? How would you know? <gasps> cool, but odd, how are you, baby? So nice to see you. How you doing today? Want to get away from your wife? Go to San Diego. <laughs> I don't know. Where are you now and how are things and what do you miss? Uh, I'm still in Palm Springs. I'm gonna be in Palm Springs for this whole hot tub series, like the end of my hot tub series. And I'm gonna be here. And I'm still gonna be here after that. Um, how are things? Uh, things are good. I, I'm almost done eating my, my hot Cheetos, my flaming hot Cheetos. Y'all, I'll tell you what, this is the first bag of chips I've had in a while where the bag was almost full. I thought it was a joke. I was like, I got this thing of Cheetos and I opened the bag up and like, there was, it was filled up to here and I was like, it's just for life. Like, I feel like this bag is from like 2005 or something like that. Like, since when are chips filled up this much? Like, I, I know it's not like a complaint. I'm just sketched out because it just doesn't seem real. You know what I'm saying? Uh, you had this girl in your class called Ashley Brown, but she wants to be called Ash, so her full name sounds like Hash Brown. That's cute. She's a little Hash Brown. <laughs> you, I bet when people call her a snack, she feels very relevant. What do I do for a living? I am uh, a freelance model and a gig worker, essentially. So I make my money by doing individual bookings, workshop events, promo modeling. I've been getting a lot of promo modeling jobs lately. Like here, I'm doing a promo model job for a week. It ends on Saturday. Um, the way your laptop is so close to the tub gives you anxiety? Oh, it's okay, we found out. So actually, it is plugged into the wall, but to be honest, like for it to fall in, it would unplug, it would unplug itself on the wall. So the good thing is I wouldn't get electrocuted. We just ruin a laptop that isn't mine. <laughs> Oops. Hello, TT. How are you? Tiger Mom is the name of a parenting style where it's like high pressure with no comfort provided from a young age. Oh, that sounds very stressful. I'm not into that. I don't, I don't want to be stressed. I don't want any stress. Hi, Taki. You had to deal with a bed bug infestation of your mom's home from a new sofa that was bought at a department store. Brand new, never sold, then returned, and was a nightmare. Oh my God, did you just sue them? I feel like that's a lawsuit. I bought a brand new couch and somehow it has bed bugs already. Um, mm, that sounds horrible. Very scandalous, very sketchy. You wear big pimp rings, is that good? Um, I guess, I don't know, to be honest, I'm not super into men wearing rings. I feel like, you know, I like I like the little, is it like Cartier, little Cartier little rings that men will wear and women wear. I like those. I think those look nice because they're not super flashy and they're not giant. I don't like the giant ones. The giant ones that you feel like you're going to like punch somebody by accident and then kill them. You know, it's like walking around with brass knuckles. Legal brass knuckles. You think you only wear watches and bracelets, but those, but you wear those like marble slash wooden bead bracelets. You're more into watches, but it's an expensive hobby. Oh my God, my friend bought a watch when I was in Vegas and I was like, Ugh. he's like, how I got a watch? It was crazy. It was crazy, I didn't realize. I think the 
most expensive watch I have is like a thousand dollars. And even that was like absurd. Absurd. And I rarely wear it. You wear a real gold chain and, uh, and, and bracelet, then you want to get a thicker chain. What kind of chains do you guys like? You know? I, I wonder because I want to get one for my brother and I, uh, I don't, I don't know what style to get him. And then I can't ask him what his style is, you know? I feel like I'm missing parts of chat. Oh, it's because my internet disappeared. Hello? No internet. Hi, Matter. How are you? I'm waiting on my internet to work. Woo. Beep, beep, beep. sensational. Oh, thanks, Stampino. It's so nice to see you. Well, if you drop your phone in hot fryer oil, it's a goner. Nobody's going to reach in and get it out of there. Yeah, but at some point it's going to cool down, right? And then like, like, what do you do? I feel like you have, there's things you can use to like spoon out things out of oil. You know what I'm saying? Like you just keep frying chicken nuggets for the rest of the night. Like, how does that work when you drop a cell phone in there? You think me, you think I looked better in white gold a few months ago, but with that tan now, you're like yellow gold. Yes. The lottery of chips, I know, and they were so delicious. I didn't know they made baked flaming hot Cheetos. I was like, this is a scam. They know how to get my money. You're used to there being a quarter full of chips and still paying full price. I know. Usually it's like, usually it's like this full, you know, and you're just like, there's a lot of broken Cheetos in there for a bag with so much air in it, you know? How does that work? I thought all this air, I thought the whole reason I gave you all this air was to make it so that your chips wouldn't break, but then I still open bags and there's broken chips all over, all in that bag, you know what I'm saying? You might have slipped into the twilight zone where companies actually provide value. Value what? Huh? Need to make a TikTok video from your spin bods from Wheel of Torture? Get a mod to paste them together into a new video and put it on TikTok? I feel like, I feel like I could pay someone on the internet to do that. My mom thought me do a lot. <laughs> you gave up wearing jewelry in high school? You don't like any? What did you used to wear? You're baked as hell. I mean, cheers. I will, will toast to you with bait pen. Are you at 350, 400, 5, 450 degrees Fahrenheit? How baked are you? Are you in the preheat level? I am pretty good today, Matter. I'm pretty fucking good. I, uh, I didn't do everything I wanted to today. I missed my workout. But that's, that's it. Can I do a weight gain? What does that mean? You guys want me to purposely gain weight? Um, that's my goal. I'm gonna try to gain weight by working out, though. Actually, you know, I didn't know this was a thing, but apparently there's a thing for like, there are men out there that will pay women to eat because it um, excites them sexually to um, see someone become large and, and go like engorge themselves in food. And I'm like, what? What issue does that stem from, right? Like, how does that happen? I feel like I missed something. Let me go to my, I see my activity feed, but I'm not, huh. I can gain, I don't know how many, I, I, I'm from the United States, so I don't know how, how many kilograms to pounds that is. Apples and bathtub sort of stuff. Wait, what? What is an apple and bathtub? What does that mean? At one point, you tried a bracelet, a necklace, rings, earrings, the whole nine yards, all 18 karat gold. 
It was a phase. In high school? In high school? Oh my god, Dosi! Y'all, Dosi is here with his squad. And he's reading us. And I am incredibly honored. Because we are currently talking about jewelry. Do you guys wear jewelry? Do y'all like to flex? Do you like to wear like shiny stuff? I was saying how like I really appreciate jewelry on a man. I think it makes him look like, you know, I don't know, put together but not like super like bling. I'm sorry, I don't know if this is your kind of thing. But um, you guys, you guys, if you were in here yesterday, you already know, so you're already following him because you definitely did what I told you to. Don't tell me, I have to tell you twice. But Dosi is an awesome streamer. You should give him a follow, go check him out. He is streaming, all kinds of crazy stuff. Last time we raided him, he was doing a crazy subathon that ended up for 42 hours. You know he's entertaining if they're willing to keep him on for that long. Let's be real. You guys won't even keep me on for that long. So definitely go give him a follow. Definitely check him out. How was your stream today? What kind of shenanigans did you guys get into? Hi, Bon Bon Shrimp. Hello everyone, hi SRG Froster, yes, Lord Kling, appreciate you guys for being here. Todd, I see what I'm saying, I feel like someone did something but it's not happening. I see it now, bro, bro, cool but on, thank you so much for the five gifted, I don't know why I did ten, five gifted. Six minutes ago, because my computer was really fucking slow. If you guys all got a gifted, make sure you say thank you to Cool But Odd. You guys should know him now. He has been in here pretty much every day since he found us. What a loving, devoted man. That's the kind of things I need in my life. Uh, is cannonballing into the hot tub in your repertoire? Um, I'm not against it, uh, but I need some incentives. I am a woman, you know. I like. I need some motivation. I don't think she. Oh yes. A 20 kilograms equals 40 pounds. Oh, I don't know if I want to gain 40 pounds. Like I'm, I'm 125 pounds right now. For me, to, I'm 5'4". So if I was 160 pounds, I would be probably struggling with modeling. Yes. You were literally just talking about getting some brass wire to make jewelry on Etsy with your 3D printer. How do you do that? What does that mean? You wear costumes, you haven't tried on jewelry yet. I feel like we need to send you some like gaudy jewelry. This is one of the rare situations where the on-screen Twitch chat is faster than the on-site chat and then you see, well, I'm a very slow responder. I like to take my time. You guys say things I really like, consume it and digest it. And then like, hmm, what long tangent am I gonna get into? And then by the time I'm done like blasting off into the planet of what your conversation was about, I come back and I'm like, oh, I have to do this again with all these people and it's great. It just takes me a while. <laughs> Dream was good. You were playing Clone Hero slash, well, it was just Guitar Hero. What's the biggest difference? I know you said it's fan made. Like what did they make? Like what did they do to make it like extra oomphy to where you got this loyalty to it? Or is it just because it's free? I mean, y'all appreciate it. Right? Um, bum, bum, bum. Do people ever come out in the hot tub area so far? There are actually people off to the, to my side. You guys can't see them, obviously. Cause they, why would I do that to them? That's horrible. Um, I have the, the camera only faces my little section. You know, I have, I have people come and go. But honestly, there's just never anyone here. I think this is the first time there's actually been people there. But well, actually, I take it back. That one time with Harley, where that kid threw fruit at us in the water, there were some people here. But whatever, no hard feelings. Right. Think of all those modeling gigs that will open up if you gained 40 pounds. I feel like, I don't feel like you know what you're talking about, but that is fine. You Americans and your pounds, it's so confusing. It's okay, I feel the same way when you guys say thing in kilograms and, and Celsius. I'm like, oh, internet help me. I don't know the conversion by brain. <laughs> it's easier to install custom songs and generally just a better user experience. <gasps> You can make, bro, okay, that already makes it better if you can, that scares me, get custom songs, like you can like, especially as they update, and not have to pay for them, because, like that. Mm. But it uses like the, the Guitar Hero, like, equipment. 
I don't know yet in terms of the Etsy jewelry, but you have a resin printer that you've been learning to use and you've been learning some 3D modeling. Ooh, for funsies, are you gonna kind of make a living out of it? It's so cool. A lot of you guys have like 3D printers and these like really interesting creative like machines and robots. Um, we all used to make all this really interesting stuff. I didn't realize how much art adults do until I became an adult, started looking around and realized like so many people um, are invested in art in one way or the other, which I think is so beautiful. And also fucked up because it's like we all do art in some sort of way to like find release and pleasure and peace. And yet art, um, art projects aren't like as popular as other entertainment venues and not that other entertainment isn't art but like art just isn't as respected in like the academic world and in like the um productive world that's the world the productive world bum, bum. no west that's nothing's working my internet is going in and out it's like in and out in and out in and out so today we're we're not gonna like provoke it I try to load Streamlabs. It's not loading. Thank God for, for data. Data is like saving the day right now. The guy dropped five subs with a sub counter only went up two. Well also, also, Streamlabs is like fucked off on its own. Like when we were doing our, um, when we were raising the subs to do the viewer's choice video game, by the way, which has been picked out and announced into the Discord, so if you wanna know what video game I'll be playing in February that you guys chose, um, that is in the announcements. But it wasn't updating, but then if I go to the website, it would update. So it's like, it's confusing, it's confusing. But I will make sure it's right, I promise. Legit, any song, as long as someone places the notes. Dude. Have I ever considered doing ASMR? No. I don't think I could take it seriously. I really don't, honestly. Like, this whispering the entire time. I feel like. Oh, I wish that timer was more than 15 minutes. It drives me crazy. I feel like I would want to laugh. And then, like, you know, everyone when they listen to ASMR, like, they turn it up all loud so they can, like, hear the. start laughing and then I'd laugh really really loud and probably blow up people's eardrums so can't be a liability like that it uses the guitar hero guitar but it can play a keyboard too bro I feel like I feel like I need lessons I feel like I need to learn the way how did you originally learn from the keyboard or the the tool I don't know what it's called the guitar the the platar because it's plastic I don't know you're employed, you're unemployed currently, so any income is better than none, you say. Oh, yes sir, yes sir, yes sir. What would you like to do for a living? If you had a choice, or if you have like a goal you're working for, a, a dream job or a goal job you're trying to get to? How do I prioritize comments? Um, I don't, it's not, I'm not trying to prioritize comments, low eyes, it's just that my phone is streaming from data, right? But my computer is getting service from Wi-Fi from my friend's apartment. And we're kind of far from my friend's apartment, so the Wi-Fi goes in and out. So, like, chat is not picking up on all the comments in here. So I refresh the page every once in a while, I try to scroll back through to see if I missed any comments because it didn't load them at the time. It's loading other ones. So it's not, it's not necessarily that, like, we have a setting to discriminate between comments. It's just, unfortunately, my setup is wonky today, which is why. So I usually, in January, um, our usually this month, we've allowed our founder's badge and our VIPs to get a free spin of the wheel. But unfortunately, I'm having a hard time getting the internet to work and I can't guarantee the wheel will work. So I pop it off today. I'm getting the doubles tomorrow. Okay. You know about renewals? Because one, he's subbed and you subbed last month. What about renewals? You like in and out, but not when the internet does it. Oh, but in and out is delicious. Aw, oh, thank you, Rana. Y'all really do like the pause. A little, yes. Shh, shh. gonna be my thumbnail. No, not that one. The lighting's not very good. Let me get closer. <laughs> Streamlabs is awful. Any Twitch veteran knows that. I am not a Twitch veteran. I am, uh, I've been on, 
Twitch for seven months now. Isn't that crazy? Seven months of Miku. Hi, Ocean. You like me. Like, like, like me. Oh, I feel like I'm going to have to go back to kindergarten to inter like interpret that. Did I just hear ASMR whispers now? The tinkles. That's the free sample. Okay. Um, we've been playing the guitar hero for 13 years. Holy shit. Holy shit. I feel like, has any, does anyone here play guitar hero still? Or um, the the amazing knockoff? I feel like knockoff is like usually a derogatory term, but in this term, I don't mean it in a derogatory way. Screaming like a fox makes makes me as a viewer say more than ASMR. Well, I won't be screaming. I do, I do. I do scream sometimes, but I am not screaming right now. Wow! Thank you for our gifted I really appreciate it. I know I'm late AF. Rest in peace. Offman, hello. You more that you wrote that more than five minutes ago. But you read one after mine. That's why you asked. But that's late AF. But it's late as F. Yes, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You just have to wait on me. I'm just a slow, dainty woman. You know, Miku, you talk fast, but you are very good at enunciating your words. Well, I try. So I um, grew up in choir. So when you sing at a choir, you're singing with like, you know, 30 plus people usually. And so you want all the words to sound the same. So they teach you how to enunciate your words. So usually when I sing my song, it's really easy to understand the words because I'm always enunciating. It's like in ingrained in me. But then sometimes it gets sloppy and then it's like <laughs> yeah. Like even when I'm sober, like I don't know, sometimes I, my, sometimes my brain is like in focus and it's like we could speak articulately. And the other time my brain's like, okay, we're on vacay, see you in 20 minutes. And I'm like, <laughs> can't say a single word. You're sorry, you're really sorry, you seem to be catching up. No hurt feelings, you meant no disrespect. Actually, glowy eyes, now that you mentioned it, now that you mentioned it, I'm feeling very disrespected. I'm feeling horrendously disrespected. I feel like you owe me um, a chance to bonk you. Like, bonk, it's okay, we're all is forgiven now. I have my retribution. So after 26, that's 27 days of being in a hot tub. Do you notice anything different with the skins or is it all kind of the same? Um, to be honest, I feel like it does dry out my skin a little bit, you know, because you're like, I'm chlorine for a long period of time. I, and I don't think it's really like the fact that I go every day, because like, um, I before I get in the stream, I, I, I rinse off in the shower, right? And after the stream, I rinse off in the shower again. So the chlorine's only on my body for a little bit, but then also I'm on the stream for like an hour and a half. So it's not really like good. But I was also, uh, uh, but you know, I, I don't think it's like harmful. But if you just like moisturize your skin and drink a lot of water, it'd be fine. I think that's the biggest problem is I'm not drinking enough water when I'm on stream and I'm just getting a little dehydrated so my skin's getting a little dehydrated, but my muscles feel really good. Mm, I get the best spinal tops. You know what I'm saying? Like when you stretch and you just like your back cracks, you're just like, ah, after a hot, uh, after sitting in the hot tub. But they recommend like sitting in the hot tub for like 15, 20 minutes at a time because that's like the good window and then getting the fuck out. I'm just breaking the law, the the not law law, the the non legal law. You gotta do some cleaning now, but you gotta leave the stream on just listen to y'all talk. Oh, cruise is social. I always say social, but it's so cow. I love you. Thank you so much for hanging out. Uh, I hope you're enjoying my little talky talks. Bye, Dosi. Thank you so much for the rates. And seriously, I really enjoyed the chat. And I will be harassing in a nice way, not a real harassment way, um, your stream very soon. <laughs> you want to be happy. You are happy, right? This hot tub looks nicer. Well, it's because it's in ground. It's like an actual in ground hot tub. Like it's not going anywhere, you know what I'm saying? Whereas mine can be moved. Oh my God. What is going on? Are you fuck? Oh my God. You guys are spoiling the fuck out of me. <sighs> Cruz 
Greetings from SoCal. Thank you so much for 10 gifted subs to the community. Oh my God, you guys. <gasps> I don't deserve you all. Thank you guys so much. Seriously, thank you so much. If you guys just got a gifted sub, make sure you say thank you. Thank you. I swear. You guys really know how to make a woman smile. We got a we got five gifted subs by Cool by Eye. Wes dropped a gifted sub. We got a fucking raid and we got ten more gifted subs. It's just like today the universe is burning on all the blessings, all the love, all the joy. Thank you. Alright, I'll stop being over dramatic now. Hi Deja. Again. Get your boiled Miku here, folks. Yes, no. No. Just thinking of being in a hot tub or bathroom that long makes your eczema skin cry. Oh, you have a skin condition. See, that's what I'm saying. You probably wouldn't want to be in it for this long. Maybe just like 10 minutes at a time. Oh, honestly, a sauna. A sauna is probably your better bet than a hot tub. Hot tubs are really good for like sore muscles, but a sauna is really good for the skin and like cleansing it all out. You know what I'm saying? I'm feeling really good. It's Doc E, then Dosi. Oh, learning. Thank you. Thanks for correcting me. I want to be corrected. Doc E. Doc E. Doc E. Yes. Like he's my Dr. E. It sounds like, honestly, it sounds like Dr. E sounds like a, a drug dealer's name. I don't know why. Yes. Ink round built in. Yes. Am I Japanese? No, I am half Korean, but I've been to Japan a few times. Really love it. What a place to be. Cool, but oh, it's okay. You, when you're ready to come hang out, we will we will do it again. So I owe. I need to. I need to put this down somewhere. I owe. I owe oh, you guys some spins for this stuff. So for social uh, SoCal, I'm just gonna keep calling him social because I don't know. SoCal gets three spins of the wheel. I owe Todd. I'm calling you Todd now because it's but odd. But Todd, these are y'all's nicknames now. He gets a spin. Wes, I owe him two spins for being a VIP. And same with Rome. I owe him two spins. Oh, and Camo. Camo. Okay. Oh my god. Camo. So tomorrow we're doing a lot of spins. A lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of spins tomorrow. Uh, how come I know how to train? I don't know. It's, it's not the mom's choice. It's a Scottish thing. Good night. Hello, comic guy. <laughs> Yeah, I think Wes, I think with the hype train, it, you have to have, it's like conditions for a hype train. You have to do like, I think three people have to contribute within a certain time period. And then the more each person contributes, to, like, um, the more each person contributes, it changes the percentage of the hype train to get to the next level. Yes. That's not how it works, Wes. Sorry. You have 30 seconds to make a hype trade. Holy shit, cool but odd is gifting seven tier subs to the community, which means I now owe him um, 12 divided by three, four spins. Four spins. being a VIP with all the support I'm telling you 
We only have a couple VIPs. VIPs is not really a criteria to be a, VIP, a VIP. Um, the only thing that you have to do to be a VIP is make a really good impression on me. Like, it can't just be a one-time thing, you know what I'm saying? Like, we all, I think people come in and bless you, and I think that's awesome. They contribute to the stream and, the, you know, the things that people do to make people stay. But then it's like, I don't want to make people a VIP just because of money, right? It's more than that. It's about the commitment to our stream, the joy you guys bring, the uh, added connection we have in chat. If you guys just got a gifted sub, make sure you say thank you to Pope Odd. I feel like there's a lot of thank yous in the chat for me. Yes, they're fighting for top spot. <laughs> You guys know how to make a woman feel special. Already been there, done that for another streamer? What do you mean? It's supposed to be 40? I will, don't worry. So what we're going to do is we're going to um, fix it. I know that right now it's not changing, but after stream, I'm going to go look at all the dough, all, all the subscriptions and the uh, gifted subscriptions. I'm gonna count them and I'll manually fix it and I'll make sure it's right, guys. I promise I'm not trying to scam. I'm not trying to scam, I swear. Your brain, your brain is amazing. I like your brain, I like I like what it's thinking. Can you just do hot tub streams every day? We'll just buy you an indoor pool. Well, I feel like that's a lot. An indoor pool? I don't think, I need a bigger house when I have an indoor pool. Let's be real. Cause my house doesn't even have enough space for a massage chair right now. And I really want to do massage chair streams again. So. But uh, we're doing hot tub streams for like another six more days, six more days. And then I will be back to doing normal, just chatting streams and um, experimenting with some more stuff. Could you guys do some more shenanigans? some crazy creative ideas I come up with to entertain you guys on the internet. <clears throat> H has 140K chat points and became a VIP. Who is H? Oh, oh, Hannah has a, a, a thing to where you can become a VIP with chat points. Yes. Stream sometimes won't count as a renewal sub. You know that because one of the guys was up for renewals you sent out 28 days ago. Okay. Imagine the maintenance for that pool. It's okay, we could get a really hot pool girl, right? We'll get a hot pool girl to clean our pool and then we'll convert her into a Twitch streamer. And then you guys, will, we will have like, I don't know, I need to make a clan, right? A Miku clan, a clan of streamers who just do silly things on the internet. You watch the massage table stream to see what happens. I mean, well, it's not a massage table stream. It's like a, it's literally just a massage chair. Well, I know, I have seen people watch videos of like people getting a massage, but I think those are all bots. Like I don't think are like um, streamed from somewhere else. Like I think you can find them on YouTube. Like they don't seem like live videos. You know what I'm saying? Like the ones I've seen on Twitch. Do you have an indoor pool? I'm gonna start calling you Todd, pool for odds. I hope that's acceptable. But, um, do you have an indoor pool? To be honest, I'm not much of a swimmer. I like hot tubs because I can stand in them. You know, I don't have to swim. There's no swimming involved. It's very chill, it's very relaxed. Like, I can take it easy. But like, swimming is just like, a lot of like movement and a constant like burning energy and a lot of work. Like I'd probably just, you know, you know. It sounds like a variety reality show. Pool, hot pool girl, hot e girl in pool. Then it's gonna be hot girl cook streams. Yes, yes, I I agree. I agree. Well, we would do all kinds of things too. Like this was just, 
this hot tub thing is just like a celebration for the fact that January is my, my birthday month and I wanted you guys to be hyped for my birthday month and, and be able to celebrate with me. So I was like, let's just do bikini streams every day. I've got a million bikinis. I can show you guys a new one every day so you guys see new styles. I can show you guys new brands. Not that you guys actually care about that part, but there might be some women out there watching, wondering. And uh, I would love to have more women in my community, honestly. Would love to see that TikTok of you doing dizzy after dizzy go viral and come here to follow and sub. Wait, what? Huh? It's London. Pools in the home are a rare thing. Usually it's in the basement or a complex nearby. Which, oddly, yes you do. What? People put pools in their basement? I've never heard of that. That's so cool. But also, where I live, I don't know anyone with a basement. You know, I don't think you're allowed to have basements in the places I've lived. Like in Florida, it's very shallow, so you can't have a basement. And then in Arizona, I don't know if you can, I don't know if you can, you see if my internet will work long enough for me to find out. Can you have a basement in Arizona? If I could type Arizona. Okay, because the ground doesn't fe freeze in Phoenix, you only have to dig 18 inches below the surface to pour concrete footing for a house. If you want a basement, you'll have to go out of your way to dig deeper. That's complicated by a common soil phenomenon in the state called Kalish. What is that, Kalish? A mineral deposit of gravel, sand, and nitrates found, especially in dry areas of South America. Oh. Sedimentary rock, a hardened natural cement of calcium carbonate that binds other materials such as gravel, sand, clay, and silt. Oh, so that's why it's too difficult. The ground is not, the ground is not about it. The ground says no. Your massage table streaming is brought up more than once. You have no idea what happens. Oh, no, no, no. I've, okay, MLSJ, I've never been in a massage, I've never done a stream where I was on a massage bed and was getting a full on massage. The only massage streams I've done is where I've sat in a massage chair and just talked to people. That's it. But people find that to be very entertaining. So, you know. Hi, lover boy. Nice to see you. You're trying to help get more lady friends in here? Yes. As a matter of fact, you know one you know you're going to love. Yes. I know you have all the lady friends. Mr. Playboy in the best way. Yes, Florida is a no-go for basements. Yeah. Hi, Dee Dee. It's more like a shared, like a community thing. Only those truly rich London families have private pools. Most pools in London are part of a community or are shared in some, some club. Like this one. Like this is a community. Like this is like a small community hot tub pool area at a condo. It's not like my private like this is, I don't own this. I am not, no. Bum, 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 bum. I don't know what you're asking, but all I know is the very bottom, you said, may you follow. You can do what you want to, as long as it's not terms of service. Am I from the UK or am I American? I, I, I don't think I sound at all like a UK person. Uh, I am American. I'm from the South. I live in the West. I'm currently in California. Where are you from? You love me. You don't bear you barely know me, so you don't love me, you just like me. Or you think you love me. You want to convince me that we have something real and I am not sure. There's a lot of public indoor pools in the UK or used to be. I'm mad oh my internet. Come on, internet. No. All right, we're already chat this way. Move back to Florida so we can have more cool people here. Um, I would love to have a vacation home in Florida. I can't move back to Florida. I can't live in Florida. It's too crazy for me. I think she could get away with it if she really try. Ooh, what am I getting away with? Ooh, tell me the secrets. Definitely does not sound British. No. 
and I'm not good at accents either, guys. Like, I, I am the last person you ever want to fake an accent for anything. Like, you know, I thought maybe I wanted to be an actress when I was younger, and then, like, the more I look into acting, the more, the more things I have to learn to try to do, and the more that I don't have natural skill for it, I'm like, mmm, mm, probably not. I just like being a weird twitch, twi a weird twitch person. This works for me. This, is, this entertains me. You do a great Yoda impression, though. Oh, really? Did you, how long did it take me to practice that? When did you develop the skill? Or is this natural? Is this natural talent? <gasps> Too crazy. Florida is so chill. What do you mean? Up in Florida, so trust me. I you can't lie to me. I already know. I already know. But I lived, I lived, I lived in the Bible thumpers part of to uh, of uh, of uh, Florida, the very like south. Like it's the northern part of Florida, but it's the southern part of Florida. If that makes sense. Great, it is. You mean? Isn't that how it works? So sometimes when you're, oh, here we go. So sometimes when I'm super drunk, you'll talk like Yoda the whole night in Proverbs to people and they just get weirded out. That's awesome. I mean, you know what? You still get invited to the party. You've been invited to the party every single time. So I mean, obviously it's working. Oh. All right, guys. The last little twisty twist. When did I live here? I lived there a long time ago, like more than more than five years ago. Took like a few drunk nights to perfect it. Oh, so this is something you developed while you were drinking. I see, I see. The tub is nice. It's just almost a little too hot for me. I'm getting sweaty. So I keep touching my face because I'm sweaty. But apparently guys are okay with that. I was out one night, I was clubbing, I had dance with dance with my girls. I needed a break because I was getting really hot. So I'm at the bar, I'm asking for a bottle of water. This guy goes, hey girl, how are you? And I go, I'm really sweaty right now. And he was like, oh, you wanna dance? And I'm like, I was not trying to entice you, my guy. It is apparently not as much a deterrent as it sounded. Also, hi Marcus. It does, South Florida is the East Coast and Northern Florida is the South. Yes, sir, you know it. Hi, Ace. How are you, my love? We're not doing spin wheels today because my internet is being all wonky, but I'm doing double spins tomorrow, so I'm putting it in the list. We have so many spins to do tomorrow. Tomorrow I owe like over 10, over 10 spins, guys. So I'm gonna add some stuff in there to make it extra cool. I've always, you know, I'm always trying to come up with new things, you know, to entertain you guys in the most entertaining ways. What you been doing, Ace? You been working really hard, or having a, and or having a really good day? Do I want to dance? No. <laughs> no. It's like clearly I am like dripping sweat. I'm over here getting an agua on a Saturday night. Like clearly I am trying to cool down before I go back into that pitch to go find my friends and protect them from the universe, you know. How long have I been in the, the hot tub? Uh, almost an hour and a half. Why would you remind me of that? It's almost go time. It's almost go time. Language difference, sweaty equals moist. Um, sure, yeah, like it's like, you know, perspiration. I'm trying to think of other words for sweat. I'm very, um, I don't know, that's the only words I got. The pheromones from the sweat enticed him or something. Oh, oh, are you saying my, my natural, my natural smells can, can make men 
people out to dance with me. That just means you go hard. What's not to like about that? The fact that maybe like, oh, if I'm sweating, can you imagine them? Like, I go to clubs and I'm like, he has one tight dress and that's all I'm gonna wear. You know what I'm saying? Where like men go to the club and they wear like, oh, they have a jacket and they have like their, their like long sleeves. Well, not always long sleeves, but a lot of times where it seems like they wear long sleeves or jacket, they got like the whole pants on, like no long pants, and you're like, man, if I'm sweating, I bet you're sweating. And it's like, I'm already sweaty, so I don't wanna get his sweat on me. Put water on, put the water on the face, I could do that. A little bit. That actually wasn't that bad. Kinda scared me. Work boring stuff. You, I could never see you being a boring piece. But I'm glad you're able to sneak me into your work. Pubbing <laughs> scene in the US must seem different. What do you mean? Different than what? In London, everyone usually just goes in a t shirt or goes in a shirt or t shirt for guys you find. Or maybe it's just because, like, so winter time usually is my free time because people don't usually hire mo like bikini models in, in December and stuff like that in January. So I guess that's usually when I end up going out and clubbing is in winter. So maybe that's part of the reason why. You dress like comfy at the club. Do you guys have like a certain club shirt? But usually, ooh, usually, is because we go out and get pissed. You guys get drunk. I love, I love y'all slang. I feel like you would just talk to me and I'd just be like, just keep talking slang. The less I understand, the better, right? My friend told me she went on a date. Mm, it's a long time ago, but she went on a date with this guy who was really, really hot from Belgium. And like she was interested in him, but she was like scared to go talk to him because she just been through this bad breakup and she wasn't feeling herself, you know, my friend is like really good looking. So her friend convinces, like gets some drinks in her, convinces her to go talk to this guy and like exchange numbers with him. And then, you know, obviously he does, but then turns out he doesn't know any English and she just know Belgian. Is Belgian a language? I don't know. That's unfortunate to me. Anyways. And uh, all I know is they were, they were on, but she told me it was like one of the best guys ever because like they would go to dinner, I would go places, you know what I'm saying? And they would just like talk to each other about whatever, but like another person knew what the other person was talking about. So they'd just sit there and smile at each other and be sweet to each other and they could never argue because they didn't understand each other. So, you know, as long as they, were, they said things in nice tones and look, you know, we're having a good time, like no one would know. And so. She was like, it was really great because none of us could like get on each other's nerves. Like, you know, it's like talking to a man. It's like being with a man who's like pleasant and sweet and nice. You can't say anything and like say anything with like the woman. It was so interesting. You're from Texas and gets hot and wild. Oh, are you a big party guy, Marcus? Like to social drink, just chill? I don't know, you're seeing like it's wild and you're seeing it's chill. Those are like two opposite spectrums of clubs. Action speaks letters than words, as they say. I mean, I bet. Well, I mean, I, you could also just be like, you know, if, if, if something is like really bothering you, you just go on a tangent and you know, like the other person's gonna stand there and smile and support you. You think a language barrier could work nowadays? I think so. Maybe. I saw a TikTok where there was this like family where like, and the mother was like Asian and the father was Hispanic and they didn't speak each other's language, but that they both like, um, have been together for like a long time. Like this person was like, I feel like they were in their twenties. You're not, uh, you're not too wild of a guy, just a chill person. Oh, but you're saying Texas itself is really wild.
I wish my internet wasn't so slow. Does no one else use the hot tub? I've never seen anyone else in here but my friends. So, I guess not. But also, it's like, or how, what's the temperature right now? It's 76 degrees outside, so most people probably look at me like I'm crazy for being in the hot tub. Honestly. It's kind of true though, because the inner affection and care usually is reflected through actions, like small things or gestures, etc. It just depends if the reciprocating person recognizes the values in those actions. And yeah, if there's not a lot of words, then like the only thing you, you're really assessing the situation on is based on like body language and vibes. Ooh, I guess we had a good idea. I just had an idea. I just had an idea. I gotta type it down before I forget it though. If they have bad memory. Um, Alright. So, guys, it is getting about that time uh, to raid out. Um, I'm going to pick somebody. Comfy News Network. I don't know what that means. I don't hope it's not real news. I just hope it's comfy. Somebody. She seems like she's really cool. Oh, fuck my life. Hold on. Stop it. All right. I got you, Ro. I got you. I saw you just in time. All right, guys. So we're going to go raid. Um, we're going to go raid Realm's friends. Wait, was it, was it right? Is that right? She's doing a streamer's workshop. There we go. There we go. So we will see you guys tomorrow. Thank you guys so much for hanging out. I really appreciate it. Bye-bye.